This is a talk given by Sydney Banks. A deeper appreciation of what he is saying can be obtained by listening to this tape many times. There's two lives. There's one on, on this material plane. This one we call Earth or universe or whatever you want to call it. This plane. There's a second life. And it lies within each and every living soul on Earth. It lies inside. And if you ever contact this inner side of life, this inside spiritual side of life, at that second, you start to become the ruler of your own world. Because you see what you are. You start to find the secret of thought and its relationship to what we call life. Because all life is a spiritual thought. That's what life is. It's a spiritual thought, manifest in form via a Christ conscious state. And if you find a secret to the pattern of thought, you'll find what everybody in the universe has been seeking for since the beginning of time. It's that simple. The answer doesn't lie outside. It lies inside. But when you talk about inside, it's the unknown. And if it's the unknown, you can't recognize it. Not until you're ready. Then once you're ready, you'll have the experience of hearing. And the experience of hearing for the first time in your life is the first step towards your Christ consciousness. The first true step. Because you've gone to the true religion of mankind. You've gone to the very essence of truth to find it. And this takes courage. Because there is only one truth. There is only one religion. There is only one true religion, and one that true religion is truth. It can't possibly be anything else. And truth has no rituals or dogmas. It just is. And it lies in each and every one of us. And it's there to come out at any given time. Any time you wish it. The only thing that stops you from seeing it is the petty beliefs of our own mind. We are mind created on earth. Go beyond the mind. You go beyond the creation that you now know to the truth. Every living soul on earth is that thing via a conscious state. Simplicity. Everybody in the universe wants to be something different other than they are. And all you have to do is surrender to yourself and realize that you desire absolutely nothing else, then you've found your total freedom. Then anything you wish will come true. It's the will of the mind. It's the will of God. The will of the mind is really a very, very silly, useless thing. It's used to play games on ourselves. The will of God is the total truth. It's a secret to mankind. It's a secret between heaven and earth. It's a missing link. But it can't be heard from the mind. So it doesn't make sense. This is why it takes hearing. And hearing is the experiencing of the realization of the fact. And once you realize a fact, most of your problems in life will fade away for the simple reason when you see this fact you will see the simplicity and the stupidity of our own ignorant lost minds but you'll see it as not wrong you will see it as perfect and it's in this perfection for the secrets lie.
for the true secret lies. If you can see the rights and the wrongs, it's still perfect because it is all God's game. It is all the will of God because our free will and our free mind in reality isn't. It is God's free will and free mind because God is the energy of all things. And this allness is all things. And this is where you go to to find the total secret, the absolute. And if you ever find the absolute, you will realize it isn't absolute because there is no end to the absolute you will realize that all life is nothing but a divine thought. And the way it works is via levels of conscious state. And each living soul has a separate conscious state from any other living soul. This is a free will and a free mind in action. But somewhere Beyond the mind lies a greater truth. And this truth, when heard, drops all the barriers of the ignorance of the mind and lets the light shine in so you can see your happiness before your eyes all the time. Because you have surrendered to the greater, to the allness, to realize you never were separate from the allness. You only thought you were. And while you think you are, you're a prisoner of your own free will and free mind. 